गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल विथ अनदर एडिशन ऑफ ट्रेडिंग सक्सेस बीन्स विथ कल्याण एंड टूडे वी हैव a uh, rising star in the in the in the realm and the world of uh, trading and uh, i'm i'm happy and super proud to present uh, akshay kiriti hi akshay how are you i'm i'm good kalyan i'm good uh, we we've seen better times uh, with with corona right so right now things are going good and i'm, I'm really happy that uh, you know i hope everyone is safe first of all and i wish a uh, good health to everyone who's watching this video video Thank you so much Akshay and thank you so much for sparing time on a Friday evening. Let me start by saying by asking you a very simple question. Uh, how did you usher into the world of uh, trading Akshay? What got you into trading? Yeah. Um so it would be it would be very interesting for you to know that uh, my trading career start with Shetan. Oh wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, okay. Yes, because um uh, as a kid I was I was I think I was somewhere around 15. So my grandfather was browsing around the website. I think it was a trading term. I was I wasn't very sure about it then. Uh, so I saw the logo of Shekan and I I saw the spelling being wrong because it was S H A R E K H A N. But I I know it from Mowgli and your Jungle Book that it was S H E R K H A N. So being the grammar Nazi which I am, I was like, "Oh, See, there's there's a um, you know um, a spelling mistake over there. There's a grammatical grammatical mistake, and that's when my grandfather kind of explained, okay, no, there's this you know there's a shares, you got you got stocks over there, you know you invest into stuff, and uh, because you invest into stuff, they uh, they're going to give you some shares, uh, you know, uh, to you. And apparently, what I understood that day was just because I invested thousand rupees or two thousand rupees into Reliance. Hmm. Uh, ambani could be uh, you know working for you for a small cost of 2 2000 rupees and that as a 15 year old kid that blew my mind away right okay. so that's how i started in especially in do and of course uh, of course then then comes the option and then i venture out that's a different part all together but yeah, that's yeah. that's the seed which he planted was you know uh, that was way too important and that's okay. how i got into it yeah quite interesting so uh, it, it's it's like a manual coach right when you when you start uh, any any sports or any mm-hmm. any new thing and and you are a child accountant so you obviously would have done your list of things to do uh, as far as practicing your course is concerned right mm-hmm. now so also uh, when you started your your if i may use the word career as a as a as a freelance trader mm-hmm. uh, what are the things that you kept in mind or what are the things that you did uh, to be where at where you are right now in terms of uh, your understanding your ability your getting better better at the art of or the skill of trading and stuff like that so what are the four five things you thought you did and you did pretty consistently mm, uh see there's, there's no there's no uh, steps or for success but i could i could if if i can give you a broader term perspective of what exactly happened was acquiring knowledge is definitely a key mm-hmm. because because there's a lot of information in the world okay which which could be bad which could be good but all you have to do is acquire the good knowledge read mm-hmm. out the rest and mm-hmm. then make it make it your own way right you cannot you cannot replicate the same same thing which the other guy is doing but you mm-hmm. got to make it in your in your own way so the first thing is getting the knowledge which actually works for you right uh, it it could be it could be um, you know it could be a, a a good wine for me but it could be a poison for you right okay. uh, and and when you weed that bad stuff out that's that that's going to happen only through experience so knowledge okay. and experience and trying out new stuff sometimes we we just don't even do uh, maybe maybe some risky stuff like options but people think it's risky but options were kind of invented to hedge your hedge your actual uh, uh, you know investments um, but unless and until you venture into it you never know it absolutely so always try to uh, you know acquire knowledge try new stuff out and and just see whether it works for you or not and whatever works for you is going to stick on with you for rest of your you know so called trading career right mm-hmm. yeah so i think so, those those could be a you know a maybe a like a uh what do you say like a guide is what i'm giving you is there's definitely there's no uh fixed way of uh, making success in this video video 
I, I completely, completely, you uh, know, uh, tend to agree with what you're saying. So you, you, you said about three important parameters, Akshay, mm-hmm. and and this is so super important for a lot of people uh, who who want to get into it, but uh, who actually think that you know what, uh, trading is so simple. You buy low and sell high. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the that's the simplest way of saying that uh, you could uh, you could kind of make uh, your fortune. Well, well, well I this. think it's a good content for your for a YouTube show, <laughs> short uh, buy high and sell low, but that's not actually. <laughs> so, when you're saying acquiring a knowledge, uh, check. Are you saying that it's a blend of theory and practical, or you just go back and 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 learn the skill? How 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 how? What do you mean by when you're saying acquiring knowledge? How, yeah, how see, does it work? See, there are only three ways by, uh, which you can acquire knowledge. One is, you know, uh, get, get into the field and you know, you you bat stuff out. You get you get hurt. Uh, you know, some is a Shoaib Bakhtar or or some you know, or you know, Shane Warne is Warne is bowling. It doesn't matter. You just you just stay over there. You get out. You face the failures. You learn from the mistakes and do it. that's the age old thing which everyone is saying yes that's cool i don't have a problem with that yeah. but there are there are few guides which you have people are helping you out when i was learning some stuff out there was no one to help okay the only the only um, content or material which we got was most probably your you know um, you know bro- uh, any any broker house is is making a webinar or some sorts mm-hmm. or uh, most probably the forex guys who are who are just who are just uh, you know speaking about the uh forex uh forex ke bare mein or you know there's, mm-hmm. there's a lot of leverage over there how how do you use leverage and all that but sometimes it may not work for us so you that's that's where i always say take that knowledge whether it works for you or not right because mm-hmm. you have to filter that content out and do that mm-hmm. so that's your second way of doing it you have all of these guides but with these guides which you have online which is more 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 or less it's a free stuff right and that's because of this free stuff there's always going to be nonsense in that information to read that out filter it out get it out right mm-hmm. and the third way is follow under someone right you you can get a mentor or something of course there's going to be nonsense over there but he has already been successful or you know it could be anything now you can you can take the plus points in that in that person and make it even better for you mm-hmm. right if it, if it doesn't work out for you you do not you do not correlate with him in on a on a uh, what is it on a psychological basis or you do not like his analysis or perspective on market mm-hmm. move on to the next mentor okay. there are two three ways where you can acquire knowledge right now the same way i'm talking about market the same the same thing works for cricket as well you go out there you test it out you fail you learn or else you you look at books you look at videos right now there are a lot of videos there are a lot of uh, channels as well you go over there you learn the technique you practice it by yourself whatever works for you sometimes you might be dhoni you might play cover drive in a weird way but it works out for you that works out for you the third way is to get a coach and do it uh, you know uh, maybe learn from him and he's going to hand hold you or whatever you have ample amount of options right now but when i did it i i i i sound like an old guy but i'm still 26 but yeah but um, you know but when the the scenario 11 years ago 10 years ago was way lot different lots and lots of opportunities are there for the new investors or traders right and and i think any way which you go ultimately your goal is to get that money get that trading success and get that knowledge so mm-hmm. which way you take is totally upon the person uh, especially but i've done the hard way out of course and mm-hmm. then on to the second one unfortunately i did not find a proper mentor but mm-hmm. i think i already have two mentors in my home uh, grandfather and father so both are like oh, wow. uh, avid investors uh, mm-hmm. so so yeah so i think i i got the best out of it of what i could i could get uh, from whatever the situation i could do yeah great if if you have two coaches at home uh, the, the 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 urge for uh, getting pushed uh, grows that much harder because you know you have an ex standard to live up to So you, obviously, you know, and then you have your father and your father's father, who who is going to be there to tell you, you know, what son, uh, you're not right or you're not, you're not wrong and stuff like that. So that it, so it run when it runs in the blood, it becomes a little easier. Yeah, I'm not it's saying a little easier because you can you know where to look at. Hmm, that's true. So if there is one acquired knowledge that you mm-hmm. think um, is going to be a 
while you know knowledge is 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 like water you know it it keeps moving and then one has to keep changing and stuff like that and maybe adjusting and getting accustomed to the new ways and the new instruments if i say you know uh but if there is one knowledge that you think that you have acquired which is going to be a permanent fix in your head and say you know this is something that i have acquired which is going to remain with me uh throughout my trading career or throughout my life as a trader what would that be actually um as a trading career i think uh, it's a, it's a very tough question i i know yeah. you're putting it in a very easy way but it's a damn tough question which you're putting because uh, in trading uh, many people have many strategies many other ways of trading this the scalping it's a different part and option selling it's a different part and option buying it's a different part. but throughout if i if i can just tell you one thing which kind of helped me out was risk management okay now if okay. if you are not doing risk management i know it's it's a very basic answer but i can yeah. prove this to you that if you if you can even even if you can get the stock or your view right 35% of the time you you mm-hmm. you went for like 100 times and you only won 35% of the time you can still make money from the market if your risk reward is good and no one no one especially addresses this point a lot okay mm-hmm. because every time okay my target is hit now whatever side said was right and you always over uh, you know emphasize on the fact that you are actually right but even if you are wrong you can still make the money from trading perspective but the best part about investing is that this is the truth which i learned in investing especially after corona everyone would have known it yeah the markets are always going towards the upside you tr- if you trust our market if you trust the business you just invest in it stay invested maybe ride down the waves if you want to trade you want to do some covered calls make some money out of it and have fun and trail the trail the trend and all you have to do is enjoy enjoy the investment journey right because whatever job you do you invest you make money you are trading that's also a business income or a salary if you want to take it but ultimately you should invest your money i'm not just saying equity market so you invest anywhere so yeah. that you beat that damn inflation which is going on brilliant i i i was actually looking for that word risk management because you know uh, and and happy i'm 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 happy and super proud actually that you know it's coming from somebody who's who's less than 30 years of age because uh, that's when you actually take the maximum risks in life you know simple things like you know and i i see a lot of them on the roads uh, you know without the helmets uh, in their two wheelers so their assessment of risk management is completely different you know so when when it comes from you saying that the, the most important knowledge is risk management it really gladdens uh, you know, people like me because that is something that we have been uh, you know hearing time and again from from a lot of investors and traders who been in the market for very long some who have learned because they made mistakes some who, some day some who learned because they were right uh, in 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 putting the risk management stuff in place so what would be that one trade that you would remember uh, for very long you know that one winning trade that you did it said man uh, and in in all humility I, i'm not saying that you kind of celebrated and stuff like that but uh, what is that one winning trade that you remember um we will find i don't remember a lot of my trades because it's just part of the business but yeah. but when you speculate something and when that goes right because you, mm-hmm. because you had a fixed criteria mm-hmm. uh, i was very proud of the way which i handled the trade so that's why i'm sharing it with you guys so it yeah. was very recent uh, the pre bajaj finance result um, you know okay. I, i had a view that it's going to go down a little bit uh, mm-hmm. and then after the result it's going to shoot up okay so uh, i had a short position on it and i uh, made i made some money on it and then i reversed the position okay. using the profit which i made i'm not okay. risking anything at all mm-hmm. making it essentially a no loss trade and i traded okay. it towards the upside again of being completely flipped my position and made okay. money on that and of course closed down the position altogether cool and what was the profit we made was again put into the stop loss Uh, because okay. bullish on bajaj finance and we were kind of anticipating some kind of a, some kind of a move uh, that could happen look okay? and we and uh, this was shared with all of the members and all of the viewers with within the channel mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it was up to somewhere around 7k still rising i know i got lucky 
but seven mm-hmm. years what we thought and uh, that that kind of happened it's very recent right so we essen- we essentially risked nothing after the first trade and um, luckily it went in our favor so and um, and the real and the real fun fact is most of most of the all of the viewers also made uh, made a profit so i was really happy about that uh, because when when you're also helping out the other guys it's 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 actually yeah. Uh, blissful yeah and conversely yeah and conversely if if you were to remember that one that one mistake that you made in trading i i i i am sure you know because you you pretty rightly said that out of every 10 trades about 3 or 4 go right and 6 mm-hmm. may not go the way you would want it to go uh but if if you were to kind of learn from your mistake and say okay this is one error in judgment that i made okay what the mm-hmm. trade would that be oh i i always tell this uh, uh, you know to or to all the viewers every time every time it comes up because yeah. um, this this was where i was actually making some money and i was becoming a profitable trader and i was gaining confidence mm-hmm. uh, but um in in the trading world uh, small confidence is actually overconfidence right okay so, so okay. i i over over um, took the leverage so mm-hmm. i already had like 60k now i mm-hmm. did not know that futures have been included leverage in them correct i just because i had the trading setup i just took the trade mm-hmm. now i have took two lots of it which okay. i was definitely not at all eligible to do so okay just because we were getting the intraday leverage okay and of course as you guys as you as, as you already know it, it kind of uh, sometimes in intraday also it kind of gaps down uh, you know uh, during during the market as well and True. my stop loss was in trigger and okay. all of my account it's it's almost one and a half years of hard work and mm-hmm. like it's, it's like 60 70k as a, as a 21 year uh, year old kid as a middle class guy is too much for mm-hmm. me and True. i lost it within a second yeah that hurt me a lot because mm-hmm. i over leveraged myself now i see a lot of people who are asking a lot of you know uh, leverages and margins mm-hmm. and all that all that stuff mm-hmm. i lost the money because i was not capable of taking that um uh, risk or or that particular leverage yeah so in that particular trade i um my mistake was because um, i took extra leverage which i wasn't allowed to do so in, in a sense right on a risk management basis and i took i did that mistake um 5 years ago and i okay and till date i still don't take any leverage mm. um, from now because i i went back i introspected i understood okay. what mistake i did i never repeated it wow and, yeah so till date i i don't take any any kind of leverage maybe the max leverage i might take is 2x sometimes okay and- okay so that's so critical akshay that you know uh, while you made that if i may call a uh, slightly judgmental error uh as a 21 year old you know but the fact that it it has stayed with you even after so many years and you continue to live by the fact that you know uh you have learned a, a big lesson out of that and 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 that is going to stay with you throughout your life that is something that our traders uh, our customers i'm sure will will understand the importance of two important things that we just spoke about one was on the risk management and second is on the excess leverage yes okay now uh something uh, something more on 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 the trading pattern so typically um when you when you do an intraday or or a positional or a swing do you typically go for a for a particular sector uh, are you sector agnostic or you you seem to love particular sectors and that's how you kind of start planning your trade or it's just plain simple signals that you follow and say Uh, I I don't love a particular sector I just love the the charts and how, how do you do that um yeah I I kind of uh, follow the news for what's happening in the macro and try to uh, figure out a way why the stock is kind of moving because ultimately whatever news uh, it's happening in the market is ultimately mm-hmm. going to change the psyche of the crowd and because of that the buying pressure or the selling pressure comes now when that is happening all all the all the guys are buying it and the sectors are you know uh, going up together of course post covid this this is happening even more that all the sectors are are, are are moving up and that's a good sign because the, the sectors are telling you the same thing the stocks are telling you the same thing the persons or, or the humans also can do the same thing mm. 
and mm-hmm. i i i promote this particular thing okay so if this particular stock is moving there's always there's obviously movement in the sector that's why it is moving so catch mm-hmm. that momentum try to find a reason why it is happening and mm-hmm. then you get into like tech, your technical analysis and all of that stuff okay mm-hmm. try to find mm-hmm. a reason for what exactly is happening of course in a bigger time frame do not find reasons in smaller time frame because it doesn't make mm-hmm. any sense by the time you mm-hmm. catch it it's all be over Okay. Now, in that way, uh, I catch the um, market trend first, and then the sector, and then the individual stocks. Okay. Okay. Yes. So we kind of do the funnel, the market, and then the sector, and then the yeah, then particular stock. Yes, true. Akshay, do you see that the market is in an overbought zone today? Um, not Or, yet. Okay. Okay. But but th- there are some macro signs that we uh, we are definitely seeing. Uh, a uh, uh, or you say a recap of what happened in 2008 if you just uh, just compare the macro uh, economics what what was going on your your you know your uh, uh, your banks being bought um, your your changing few uh, few rules uh, to kind of facilitate your LIC and you know maybe the FIS FIS kind of getting into the uh, LIC IPO and and stuff like that but um but i just i still don't see that happening without without any lower low forming right now okay. i always say uh, let the lower low happen and then you can get out because uh, i've i've been doing that since forever you always have an exit criteria and that exit criteria is always the price because price tells mm-hmm. you what exactly is going to happen and you can you can be you can actually safeguard your particular positions you can maybe do a hedge it's fine i can i can pay 15000 rupees to hedge a to hedge a position which is maybe 5 lakhs maybe 10 lakhs it's a small amount to pay i don't mind paying that just to save for my positions now i don't think that is happening now and everything is booming especially it i i and um, and maybe if if it can overtake bank nifty i think that's that that would be a great sight to see but i still i am bullish on the market uh there's there the early signs of uh, what happened in 2008 but i don't know whether it's going to repeat or are there are there any um regulatory measures which uh, you know the sebi is going to take uh let's okay. see yeah but anyway any dip any dip is good to buy right so uh, absolutely I'm, i'm happy for whatever discount the market can give me 50% i'm going to buy mm-hmm. okay and 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 has there been any 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 uh, talk uh within your trading uh, friends and group and stuff like that on the 100% uh, peak margin requirement starting 1st september has there been any any concerns or or you think that it's a step in the right direction how do you, how do you see it? yeah yeah there, there have been a lot of uprise um with respect to the leverages and um I, as you know uh, my my promise to myself was not take any leverage yeah leverage is a bad thing because it's 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 a weapon if you if not used right it can you can cut your own hand you can kill yourself yeah now if it's a dangerous weapon uh, mm-hmm. let's let's stay away from that and I'm, i'm you know as as a 6 years of trading career career and i and i still think leverage is, is still bad for me right unless and until you you understand uh, uh the risk involved in it i don't think we should we should be doing it so that's of course that's my perspective but um a lot of the retail traders not think the same i hope uh, that a lot of our customers uh, when they see this uh, they would also kind of instill a lot of discipline in their own way of trading and 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 in the world of trading and investing so thank you so much akshay for for taking time uh, today uh, on a friday and uh, sharing your pearls of wisdom i'm sure we'll keep connecting i'm sure we'll keep uh, understanding the psyche of trading and i'm sure we'll keep learning from you Sure. Thank you so much this is all mine this is all mine thank you so much akshay god bless you and take care and be safe thank you take care bye guys
Investment and securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.